And I have returned. Alright then, let's see what this world is all about. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? You fluffy kitty, oh do you like that? <laughs> here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Kinda odd, but okay. Oh, let me see you. What a great Itastanese you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Polontros will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. <laughs> Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Haha, <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The Great Wizard lives in the Great Mountain, Kotrim. Sorry, short interruption. <clears throat> but we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him, and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great... Have a great Itesta day. And good luck finding the great wizard. Okay, that was an exit. Wow, did you see that f huge fluffy creature, Kitty? That's Palontras, he fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot, here's your purse. Yay! Oh, thank you, Kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake. Next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes. The king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Kotra. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. This uh, suddenly turned from horror to fantasy. Oh, even the hand is a wooden one now. <laughs> These flowers are huge. I wonder if they taste good. What? Tastes like honey. Okay, the thing that carried me. No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. That's pretty long. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palontras? Yes, that's me. Palontras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes. But why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around, the second moon... 
What? As the sun goes around the second moon of Eterstar, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. It doesn't make any sense at all, but okay. Uh, so you don't learn anything while you are in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now, but you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Itesta. I guess you are not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. More bugs. Hmm, the flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. <laughs> uh, so what do I still have? I still have a bloody knife. That bloody knife. Ah, of course not. Oh, I also still have matches. That's not a good thing to have around here. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, are you a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain Cotram is? Yes. That's a talkative fellow. Can you tell me where it is? <laughs> I knew that would be the answer! <laughs> tell me, please. The mountain Cotram is only in winter time. Huh? Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm, of course. Winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't uh, wait for it? You go there. Oh, I think I understand where this is going. Go? Oh, but how? Ah, uh, sorry, but I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. So we have kind of a dump nut here, I guess. <laughs> and forward, okay. This place is pretty interesting. Oh, this is a map of a place. I see. This place is, again, quite small, actually. But there's a lot of... people, I guess? That's not the clockmaker. Yeah, thread and cloth. A lot of fabrics. It's a good day for good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruta and I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. So you can do all kind of metallic stuff? Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam, I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Hello. Ah, who is there? Who? Uh, me, Fran, can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes, wow. Ah, uh, okay. Four eyes? I don't have, uh, what are you selling? Only the best plobbers in this entire land. Do you want to smell it? Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collected. Ah! <laughs> they are not coconuts. Gosh! Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's not. <laughs> I have to get going now. 
Yeah, let's get the hell away from that. That's the clockmaker. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see. So, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Brilliant. Mm hmm. And do you know where the mountain court room is? The mountain court room only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that a wizard would be in mount mountain court room. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Okay, what should I do? Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to the left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You are very nice. Bye. I really want to find the pills again, by the way. <laughs> so I'm not going there yet. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? How do you know it's a she? Uh, oh no, I'm on a mission to go back home, and I want to be hungry when I get there. <laughs> oh, so what, from what part of Itesta are you? Are you from outside the island? No, I'm not from Itesta at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. Okay, just that was just complete nonsense rambling. Jeez, needed a drink from all that reading. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? Uh, I can't read it. Test. Uh, um, what is it? Test the language called? Don't you know? It's called it Eternish. Are you a tourist? <laughs> yes, I'm a tourist. My name is Frank. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a friend before either. Brilliant. Welcome to Itesta. I hope you will have fun here. Great. More rambling. Where could these pills have gone? Uh, the sea is like the beauty and the beast all at once. A lot of wood. Maybe they will become a boat someday. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I've seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. However it works, nobody needs to know. <laughs> and could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work with Itesta knees. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, thank you. Uh, have fun making your boats. What is this? Hello. Good day, young one. It's a mini game, I believe. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Uh, what do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Huh? Join you? Join where? Yeah. The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas, and I am Vo Vola. Valokas. Black and white, as shadows and light. Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Yes, sure, what are the rules? 
First to place three of the same fi uh, figures in a diagonal, horizontal or vertical line wins. So it's tic-tac-toe, basically. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called tic-tac-toe. But why would you just give me uh, the gold if I win? Time is gold, and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Well... You know how this goes. He knows how this goes too. Well, I won. Okay, let's try this differently. Just out of curiosity to see what happens then. I lose, that's what happens then. Keep going for the middle. I think there's actually an achievement for winning this a few times. This is the reason why I always didn't like tic-tac-toe. The thing with winning as soon as you place something in the middle. Or at least having a draw. Because that gets rid of so many possibilities for the other player already. Oh, that was mean. I won't play this too much longer, though. Because it's not that interesting. Okay, got the achievement. Yep, yep. That way. Okay, this is the clock. talk to you right now. I want to know where the pills are. Do I get them back at all? <coughs> Hello. Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? Well, they are a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is not yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons. For the customers of the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside, too. So we can fly. What? Fly? Well, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens and fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. 
Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Hmm. I'm kind of missing the macabre aspect of the game already. Like, what happened to that? It's obviously spring right now. What? the hell? Oh wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are the Locas. Oh. You are very shiny and... You make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature. One of the young the Locas will receive the shield. Um, stuff. Okay. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths of, to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, or miss, um, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Well, that really helped, didn't it? But... Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Yes, Kitty, you are right. What is this? Levers. Huh? Oh, the smoothly arms. 